Alrighty, well, here's the situation. So we've got 47,000 in the bank. I did one thing. Uh, I don't know how I feel about it, but uh, yeah, so we got our we got a chassis thing done, so we can build we can build new ones if we ever get money. But I sold an engine, my worst engine. So we now only have one that we can use. I'm repairing. So with the money I got from that, I'm repairing uh, this one. So uh, we got two races left on that, and also two races over here. Our body repair. At least we'll have a fresh engine and a fresh body we can pair together. Jeez, the condition on this body is already oh, 94, and it's already down to 52 down for us, so. Well, hopefully we can uh, round up enough money here. We're going to have 59 power that we're going to be taking to Atlanta. Honestly, I'd probably rather save it, but, I mean, we can't save it. Like, we, we just can't save. We just have to go out hard every single week and try to get something. So hopefully 59 engine power is pretty solid. And we're going to be taking that body with, like, 52 downforce. So we got, like, two downforce, I guess. Um, the, you know, that help out just a skosh. But uh, hopefully it's enough that we can at least qualify, like, 35th, get that bonus. Finish ahead of Mike Skinner, get that bonus. Finish 40th or better, get that bonus. So we have to knock out each and every one of those just about every week. So. Oh, man. Well. I don't, I don't think we're going to be qualifying 35th. I really don't. We just... Um, we've got the engine power, sort of, kind of, but we don't have the downforce, believe it or not. Crazy, I know. Oh, man. We also don't have the tire grip. That's just a damn shame, man. I shouldn't have recorded another one. I should have just went to bed. <laughs> oh, man. This game is really killing me, man. It really is. Let's see, 43rd? Yeah. I'm sure we'll probably hit like 38th again this this lap. Oh, it's tight. Shows and out of the gas like eight times right there. I still won two terribly bad. Let's we'll see if we do two, three, and four. They could go either way at this point. It goes out of the gas a little bit too long there, but. Kept it pretty clean though. We'll see what we got. Oh yes! That was a huge lap. Alright, well there's one bonus out of the way. I didn't think we had it in us, but that was the fastest time put down all race weekend. Cool. EA Sports welcomes you to Hampton, Georgia, site of today's NASCAR Winston Cup race. The Bass Pro Shops MBNA 500. I think we're in for some incredible racing, judging by this track's history. There sure have been some incredible finishes here at Atlanta. In the March race of 2001, Kevin Harvick beat Jeff Gordon to the checkered by mere inches to win his first NASCAR Winston Cup race. Given the circumstances and the emotion of that victory, that is one that people will talk about for decades to come. Tony Stewart will go for yet another top 10 finish at a speedway in this one. Yeah, he really turns it up a notch when we come to this type of track. And these speedways can be tricky to get the hang of. He seems to know them all like the back of his hand. Jeff Burton will begin the race in the top five in points. He needs to just keep digging like he has been. Sometimes when a driver reaches the top five in points, they start to push themselves too hard on race day and wind up losing spots instead. I'm sure he doesn't want that. The 83 car has had a couple of incidents on the racetrack with the 43 car. They've been racing hard out there, and that's to be expected. But they better be careful the recent battles don't escalate into something more. <laughs> this guy again. Thanks for that. Alrighty, here we go. So I'm um, really thankful we got one bonus out of the way. We qualified pretty well, so at least we won't lose too much money this week. But um, let's hop into it. So now one thing I also did. So I uh, I worked around some some team guys, right? So I, I'm actually saving a little bit of money this week since I re-signed some guys, uh, some cheaper guys. So. We'll probably see some more mistakes out of the pit crew, and we'll probably see some slower stops. Speaking of slower, Jesus H. Christ. What are we doing here? Alright, well, 
Also. Anyways, what was I saying? Well, there went like three engine power right there. This will take some more away, right? Chase? Oh, man. What was I trying to say? Yeah, so I, I uh, ended up signing a good bit cheaper chassis builder. Just because we're not going to be using the chassis builder anytime soon because we don't have enough money to. So why, why, why pay him? Fuck off, Chase Montgomery. Just fuck off for once in your life. Same with you, Rusty Wallace. God, I just can't run one one corner by myself without getting ran the fuck over. Just give me a second. Christ. Man, this thing's just tight as balls already. Can't stick the bottom. Oh, man. Still not running really too bad, though, but this is a damn shame. We just don't have downforce. We don't have downforce. We can't stick these corners. We can't stick the corners. We can't really take advantage of the engine power down the straightaway to get up off the corner. I mean, sure, it helps us make up for not being very fast in the corners, but that's unbelievable, man. It's just a different battle each week. It really pisses me off. There's no room for you there, champ. Well, it looks like it's a slow week for Mike Skinner, I think. He seems to be way the hell back there, way off the pace, so. Uh, we, might, we might be all right there. We might get two out of the three. We keep on running like this, which I know I won't. We might get three out of the three, but, yeah. There you go, and I'm starting to get run over on both lanes. So everybody's just quicker than I am. I hate the fall off in this thing, man. We just, it's always the same shit. We go like five, seven laps. And then we just suck. And then everybody else just always magically doesn't suck. Funny how that works. And Steve Park slams it in the wall. Or Jeff Green slams it in, I always do that. Jeff Green slams it in the wall. It's okay, nothing, nothing happens to him. We still got a long ways to go on this run. We are already really slow. No, nothing's okay with the car. I've been telling you for over two seasons now. Nothing is wrong with nothing is right with the car. Everything is wrong with the car. You fuck. Just pass. Just pass. Just pass. Before I wreck you or wreck myself. Just, just, just do something. Ask me that one more time, Tubby. I'll come up there. I will. And I'll tell you what's wrong with the car. Well, at least I'm not as slow as Mike Skinner, who is like four seconds off of me. Which I'm sure he'll probably catch me by the end of this run, too. This is just bullshit. Oh, man. That figures. Casey Mears out of the race. The fucking, like, one race after I lose my sponsor uh, with the sponsor bonus. That I had to beat him. Whatever. At least I'm, once again, outrunning Mike Skinner for now. I'm sure once I get lapped here, I'm sure I'll fall back to him. At least that's a spot, though. And now all we need is just one engine failure. And if I can finish in front of Mike Skinner, then I'll get all three of my sponsor bonuses. And I'll make a little bit of money. Alright, well, I do believe I've had enough. I think I've gone far enough. I think I can go ahead and give me some pits. So that is what I uh, intend to do here. Oh yeah, give me some tires. Did you just say what I think he said? Well, anyways. Four tires. Oh, there it is. We're not quite sure down here in the pit stall whether it's a scheduled or unscheduled pit stop. Fuck off. Give me, give me tires, give me fuel. Uh, wedge adjustment. Who, who's making wedge adjustments? Did I ask for a wedge adjustment? He better not made it looser. That's all I know. I didn't, I didn't volunteer. I didn't, yeah.
better not have made it more loose. Okay, I think it made it tighter. I think. I definitely would rather much have much rather have tighter than looser in this situation. Yeah, it definitely feels snugger. It's not not gonna feel good in the long run, but I feel all right for now. There's Mike. So there's the advantage we've got on him. Not bad. Yeah, we'll have uh, we'll have a good amount. So we're not too worried about him. I think we're still gonna be faster here for a while. I'm sure he's probably faster as time goes on, but not by much though. Well, I guess at this point, we just hope, we just hope and pray that somebody blows an engine. Because at this point, I'm pretty confident we can beat Mike Skinner. And we already qualified better than 35th. Somehow, some way. So, I mean, yeah, that's all we need to do is get one more spot. I'm not going to be able to do that on speed. 100% honest, I'm not. So, we need somebody to die. And then that'll complete all of our sponsor bonus thing things. There it is. There it is. For almost a second there, I thought that was Mike Skinner blowing up. That would have been the ultimate like F you out of this game, but thank you. Thank you for that. Now assuming we can go the, the last half of this race the way we should, fast enough to beat Mike Skinner and finish 40th. Without fucking crashing, we ought to be just fine. And yeah, look who caught me. Look who just decided to show up, Mike Skinner. Fuck off, man. He wasn't that quick before, and I'm not. I'm not that much slower than I was before. But well, maybe if they tighten me up a little bit. Yeah. Mike Skinner sprung to life, miraculously. That's yeah, funny, isn't it? I don't really have a chance. I could do something really fucking dirty. I was really thinking about it right there, but it's not like I'm gonna be able to catch him back anyways. Well, these guys short pit. I'm half tempted to cause a caution now. These guys are uh, would be on the same lap. Not like it would really matter, but. I don't know, we gotta take care of the car. Yeah, you know what? I got tired. I didn't I didn't think I was gonna be able to take two tires. I said to hell with it. That lined up perfectly. Yeah, I right hooked him. Yeah, I'm a dirtbag, but yeah, I don't give a shit. I'm sorry. Sorry, Kenny. And I almost backfired. I hit Ken Schrader and I nosed it into the wall, so there went another two engine power, but to hell with it, man. Pillar of caution. Four tires, fuel, everybody's gonna be ducking off. Except for a couple of people up there. I'm not, I'm not sure why they're. Staying out, but, yeah. See, they made a wedge adjustment. I'm not sure. I, I thought I was supposed to be at 0.5 there, but I don't know. We'll see if they uh, they make a wedge adjustment this time around. It shouldn't have changed. All right. Well, I guess they're not making a wedge adjustment. Well, fine. <laughs> All right. Get me out there. Any any day. Any day. Now. There you go. I think we might actually came out of, no, never mind. Almost for a second there. All right, well, here we go. We gotta beat Mike Skinner. And we got a decent amount of time to do it. I don't know, I'm definitely better than him on fresh tires. Oh my God, Stan Barrett got trapped a lap down. Well, there you go, right there. That's gonna get me to finish 40th, I think. Yeah, and I could beat Mike Skinner and finish 39th. All right, well, that's good. 
it was gonna come down to either I beat Mike Skinner and complete two of the accomplishment things, the the sponsor bonuses. Oh, and one's blowing up. No way. Oh, thank you. All right. What the hell? Sparks flying up there. Yeah. So it was either gonna come down to. Oh my God. Thank you. Is this game like actually like doing good things for me now? Is this what this is? Oh man, I really appreciate that. I'm not sure what happened. I really wish they would age shit more, but okay. Well, anyways, what was I saying? Yeah, so is either gonna come down to I beat Mike Skinner, uh, finish in the top. Oh my God, are they act? They are actually crashing. They are actually crashing. They're they're doing something there. What the fuck? <laughs> Why won't they actually crash? I, I, I'll take it. That puts me up into 37th, but hey. Sweet. Okay, well, uh, yeah, I don't know what to make of that. But I'll take it up into 37th in front of Mike Skinner, and I think we're good to go on fuel? Still beside you. Well, that split things up quite a bit. Ooh, oh, shit. Still there. That's not, not what we want. It's a caution. I gotta run this thing green to the end. So I think I'm still two laps down. So we got right there around 20 laps to go. Go ahead, guys. You're, you're way quicker on the straightaways. Just go by me as quick as you can. Yeah, we're still two laps down. So we got out in front of Steve Park and Mike Skinner. And I guess Mike Skinner got by somebody. One, somebody blew up. No, I think that's right. So I think the worst we can finish is uh, 39th. I think, I think. But if we keep on running, we might be able to finish 37th. I don't know. Now some people did stay out under their last caution, so I don't. I mean, even if they were lap cars or, or lead lap cars, we wouldn't cycle in front of them, even if they did pit. I'm pretty sure, at least not for long. But yeah, I think we're, we're pretty set the way things are right now. Damn it, here comes Steve Park. Hold your line. He's still there. I'm okay with that. We at least have to finish better than Mike Skinner. But it sure would be nice to have an extra little bonus spot. There's still there's actually quite a few guys on the same lap as me. Um, Jeff Green's one of them, and who else is up there? Number 22. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, there's there's quite a few people on the same lap as me. All clear, buddy. So. Man, wouldn't that be crazy if they couldn't make it on fuel? I don't think that's the case, but it might have been the best decision I think I ever made. Right hook at somebody in the middle of the straightaway. <laughs> oh man, well, yeah, Steve Park's pretty quick, so you know I'll try to hold on to as best I can, but it ain't gonna last for very long. I'll tell you that. Nice, right, Steve. Go get him. Yeah, I know. Go get him, Steve. I wish I had as much the speed as you did. Yeah, well, this next group of cars caught me. Also, I'm just trying not to eat shit on the straightaways. Like every every little movement I make on the straightaways, I don't know. It's just like the car is really like loose and it's really floaty, I guess. Yeah, that's not a good feeling, especially when you're controlling the car on an analog stick. I'm gonna be honest with you. It is uh, not not fun. But uh, I see Mike Skinner back there. He's catching us. And this traffic isn't really helping. 100% honest. So, when he catches me, I'm going to block. And honestly, there's a good chance I crash him. Because he, he will be quicker than I am. And I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to have it. I need, I need that money. I need that extra, mo that bonus money, so. Nope, not. Fuck. Why? God dang it! That's bullshit. I want to turn somebody. All right, Fittipaldi, you're up. The 43 car is outside. Just remember, he owes us one now. Damn it. Don't be surprised if he gets into you. It, oh, well, no, if I go a lap down, it's got to be right here then. Okay, well, that didn't help. Try to keep him behind <sighs> Man, fine. Fuck it, man. I 
That's just horse shit that Mike Skinner's that quick. He wasn't that quick in the beginning of the race, but just so happened to be in a situation where I could lose money if I lose to him. Whatever, man. Damn, I think I'm gonna lose a spot to Stan Barrett since I think we're gonna be on the same lap now. Fuck me. Oh, man. Oh, never mind, we're not. Wow, well, feels, feels good. Asshole. Alright, well, white flag. Hey, right, well. It wasn't pretty. But we're going to scratch and call for 39th. We really fell off this last run. Still think it's horse shit that Mike Skinner was quicker than us, but just 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 so happened when it counted. I just hate this man because we tore up the car a good bit. We're gonna, I mean, to be to be fair, anything but the engine. Oh. Ah! Leave me alone, man. Just leave me alone. Ah, uh, we need to work a little harder. Shut the fuck up, man. Just, 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 I need to be able to turn off my spotter audio and my crew chief spotter, crew chief audio. I heard enough out of their lips. Well, hell, I dumped Kenny Wallace, I right hooked him in the middle of the straightaway, and he's only minus 40, so that's not too bad. Show me the money. Oh, my God, we actually, like, gained. Oh, man, what a huge race, man. We actually, we actually gained money. For like, 40-some thousand dollars. Hell yeah. Look at that. 42,000 secondary, 34,000 from the primary, nothing from the associate. Because I didn't beat Mike Skinner, but that would have been an extra 20,000. But, um, yeah, there you go. Man, we, uh, that still kind of ticks me off. $8,000 primary sponsor. And that's just like to be on the car. <laughs> what a crock. Well, Ricky Rudd won. Kevin Harvick, Tony Stewart. Dale Jr., Bobby Labonte. Uh, we'll scroll through here and give you a look at the rest of it. So, 39th for us. Not too bad. We qualified 31st. We go on to Darlington next week. So, uh, we usually qualify pretty well there and then we crash out. So, uh, we're probably going to take what's left of our best engine and try to qualify good there and then hope for the best. But, uh, well, yeah, there you have it. All right, well, let's see the damage. Let's see Let's see it. 55. Well, that's not bad. We only lost four engine power. Cool. And then we're now down to six races on the build. One, one race left. They're on the repair. And the bodies are pretty much dead. Okay, so. Yeah, we'll be, we'll be bringing the shit body. But at least that repair. Yeah, so we'll have that on. Honestly, I think we go to Bristol after Darlington. Oh, boy. What we really need to do is work on... I guess we still don't have enough money to build. Oh, we do. We do. All right. Well, it's a little bit cheaper. So what had happened... So I, I guess, like, at the beginning of the season, I, uh... Yeah, I got I got better builders, and then I, I fired my chassis builder for, like, one race, and I went back to sign, and now they're kind of shitty, so... Oh, man, well, that kind of sucks. So, yeah, honestly, at this point, I think we're... Oh, man. <laughs> How much is it going to be to repair one? Yeah, I think I think at this point we've got to save. We're not too terribly far away from that, but, man, that's banking on us getting those sponsor bonuses yet again. So, oh, man. Yeah, I definitely think we've got to save and try to build a new one, try to, to squeak one in there. But we'll have a fresh engine back in one race. So there's a good chance that, well... I mean, it'll be back for Bristol, which I'll probably kill it there too. But, uh, man, we got to get through Darlington clean. So then hopefully I can take that engine there and I can save that fresh engine. And then the body, we got one race left there as well. So so I think we sort of, you know, this was, this was a big race. It wasn't very, it didn't look very big on paper. This is a big race. We didn't lose money. Uh, we got a lot of those bonuses, and we, you know, at the end of the day, we came away with a pretty solid finish, 39th. That's not bad at all for us. And with this, again, we, we've got a little bit of a game plan going here, so um, 
We've got two tough tracks with Darlington and Bristol, but once we get through that, I think we'll be okay. For now. I can I can I can breathe a little bit. I can go to bed happy now. That's what I wanted. I wanted to record a couple of these races. It's about three in the morning. I wanted to go to bed happy because I was pissed after after Rockingham. Well, after Rockingham and Vegas. I forgot we went to Vegas too. Alrighty, well, I'll leave you with that. I don't know when the next time I'll record, but you guys see the videos pretty much daily. So once again, if you guys get any tips, do let me know. And that, that goes for like managing stuff too. But I think I know what I need to do. The biggest thing is just to not kill the car and come away with a good finish. That's that's the biggest thing. It's so hard to come away with good finishes when your when your shit sucks anyways, so honestly I think I just need to be more ruthless and I just need to dump people when I need cautions. Honestly. I mean it's to that point now. I'm willing. I am definitely willing. And we're coming up to Darlington and Bristol, two tracks where it uh, shouldn't be too terribly hard to dump people, especially Bristol. Bristol's going to be rough. But Bristol's good, though. We've been pretty decent at short tracks. We just need to survive. If we could survive, I think we could be halfway decent there. But, yeah, that'll do it. I'm done. I'm going to bed. I hope you guys enjoyed the videos. I hope you guys enjoy the videos all the time, but I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And uh, the good thing for you... The good thing for me is that it's looking up. I was really scared for our future there after Vegas. But after that race, that was a big race. So now we can come away and hopefully get some components together. If we can get everything together in one race and have a good finish there, then it should snowball. So I think we're not too terribly far away. But enough rambling. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you all in the next video.